the different. I mean, I've, I've actually, you know, been super down with every album, not, you know, as far as like listening from, from front to like every time you guys release an album, I like post a big thing like, this is fucking sick. Everyone check it out. Cause I like fucking forget sometimes like how fucking amazing. Cause you guys are like friends. So we're just all hanging out and I'm like, oh shit, he's in a, he's in a fucking sick ass band too. I keep forgetting, <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> and it's like, and you just play us the new shit. And I was like, oh man, this is a, uh, yeah, it's definitely. I wouldn't say it's like extremely different from the last album, but it's definitely got moments of it that are completely different. Well, you know I mean, I mean, if you really go through the whole archaic catalog, there is that progression that happens each album. No two archaic albums really sound like very similar. There's always that archaic yeah. touch to the whole thing. Totally. But I, I knowing Jared for a long time, knowing these guys for a long time, they, even back then when we toured, you guys, you, you had the fire under your booties and you always wanted to continue creating and you, your ideas were like already past what was out. It's like, I don't know, like there's with archaic is just, it's always just like a checklist of things like a certain level of technical riffery and it has to be brutal like has to have some elements of like that brutality kind of slammy kind of heaviness and then like the vocals have to have a, a variance of like you know not too much this and not too much that i don't even i mean i don't think we're like thinking about these things but but like yeah, there's certain, up there's, naturally there's certain, coming out yeah anytime you hear like keys or a, a melodic sort of like added instrument or element yeah. um that's all alex he like would write he writes like the whole song like he adds like he's like thinking about how the um mm -hmm. these other kind of instruments play into the riff and stuff like Sick, that dude it's so good <laughs> yeah so alex alex when we met him he was in a band called nulling roots and they're on prosthetic records oh, cool. and um and then he's always done Desiderium. And he just put like two Desiderium albums out back to back. Well, fuck yeah. I mean, are you guys, so I mean, obviously the album's coming out on your, your favorite band's day, 311. Um, I was thinking like, what are you, uh, like what is you're gonna, what's like touring, like, like is it, are you guys gonna hit the road? Is there a certain time frame hitting the road? Are you guys have an offer you can't, or something that's been confirmed you can't talk about? Or what's going on with the, with the touring stuff? Yes. Fuck yeah. Me too. Next question. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have we're gonna be yeah, we'll we'll be announcing something pretty soon, probably. Oh, yeah. I don't know when, but something this year. We have Fuck something. Yeah. Awesome. Are you oh, guys yeah. planning you guys were so right before the the pandemic, you guys were gonna go to to Europe, right? That was like the the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Who's like is that being reworked at all or is that gonna be a thing at all? It got reworked for um like later on in the year and then they had to cancel it again so i don't think they're gonna rework it a third time yeah <laughs> maybe i i think so um nick the guitar player for, from vervum he booked the whole thing and you know we still all want to tour together still and you know i don't know if he's like if he like quit booking or something but i could see it happening again yeah for sure for sure that's awesome. I know we've already done the uh, let's take it back thing. I was just thinking about that just no. like now. It was like, I, right, my question was, I, I can't know. My next question was going to be, I can't remember. Did they actually demolish the furniture dome yet? No. So actually, <laughs> no, they remodeled and Jared, it. Yeah, me and Jared were just talking about this. So it's now a weed club. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. And like, I was Dispensary talking about. Yeah, yeah, I was joking around about that. I'm like, dude, it used to be like an underground weed club when I lived there. It was like <laughs> we, had, <laughs> we had so much weed there. Like we were like it was like an insane like it's warehouse. So funny, it really is, dude. But you had to be friends with us. That's yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, but no, they painted it all black. It's completely black now. And supposedly they Shara said something about that they rented that your guys' old spot out and our old spot out to like someone else. So I guess someone bought it. And then basically they painted it all black, turned into a wee club, and now it's just like it's back in business. I, just, I literally just drove by it right on my way here just now. I was like, what the, the fuck is the going on? The dispensary dome. Yep. Yeah. Got dispensed. 
Wow. But uh, yeah, it's it's weird to see because it looks all fresh and like it looks all like yeah, yeah. come into this new cool place and I'm like that place was like falling. You should apart. go buy weed there, dude. You should totally. <laughs> I, I'm go definitely buy gonna some go in there. there. Yeah, 